Hello everybody. I am Shannon from Nana's Workshop. And if you don't, are not familiar with me, I'm on Instagram, Pinterest. I have a website, nanas-workshop.com. And today, I'm also on Facebook. Um, today, I'm going to show you to add, how to add some molds. You ever have all these clay pots laying around? Um, I think I am just obsessed with them. And a while back, I painted, chalk painted a few of them and just to have something decorative sitting around. But I think I'm gonna go another step further and add some molds to this. So I have these rubber stamp, rubber molds, and I have used um, clay. I've used clay in them and I've used plaster. Now actually plaster I've used on furniture. And um, you can also, if you have, go to the nearest uh, hobby store, craft store, you can get wooden pieces too. But I'm gonna actually use hot glue and I'm just gonna make something here really quick and I'll show you when it dries, I can pop it out. So my glue gun is already heated up and so I'm just going to slowly squeeze that glue into the mold just like that, and I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna let it cool down, just like that, okay? Let it cool down, and while that's cooling down, I'm going to go ahead and attach some of these, some flowers and stuff to this. So you can pre-paint your, your um, molds if you want if you wanted a different color than your pot. But I'm gonna go ahead and just put them on there. And you're gonna want to make sure it sticks really good. So I'm gonna hold it down. I'm gonna hold it down on there. It shouldn't take too long because it adheres pretty quickly. So I have this rose, and that rose is from this mold, actually. So you kind of see what it looks like. So I'm gonna hold it down here a little bit, make sure it sticks good. Then I'll put the leaves on, and then we'll paint it up here. We might even see if I can um, maybe even give it a little antique -y look by brushing over it with some black. I think it's stuck on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the leaves on now. I think I'll put that one just kind of hanging down that way. You can add these all over that pot. You can add these to bottles. Um, these molds are easily used for just about anything. Like I said, add some decorative um, stuff to your furniture. I'll show you uh, let me press this one on and I'll show you um, <clears throat> some, now these molds that I'm using right now are from uh, Redesign with Prima. And uh, I love them, I've used them a lot. Okay, I think that's stuck pretty good, but I'm gonna show you these. Um, you can get these and you can add these to furniture legs. Um, around the edges of the furniture. So you can really decorate your furniture up pretty neat. But these are pressed in pretty good, yep. And I'm gonna go ahead and brush some paint on there just to get it some color. Get down and around all the holes.
Now these um, clay pots have been painted a long, long time ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and just brush out my brush, give it another layer of paint. It is the same, believe it or not, it is the same color of um, paint that I used the first time. It's just been faded, but I think I'm gonna like this um, brushing over a second time to give it a little more depth and character. But now that, basically it's done. So, you can see, see what that gave that little pot that character. And it's as simple as that. Now, if you want to, you can uh, let this dry. And while that dries, I'm gonna go look for my um, a black or a brown. And I'm gonna use this brown and see what we can do, maybe antique it a little bit and uh, give it a little bit of color. This might blend in with that yellow, which wouldn't be so bad. Um, it's It wouldn't be too bad. Some of my chalk paints are pretty dried up, but we're gonna see what we can do here. And I like the brown on top of this I'm just gonna glaze over it so just a little bit here I'm gonna make that detail come out a little bit more now I'm gonna come back with that yellow brush and touch up these areas where I Um, kind of went off and touched with the brown. So, there, I like that. But that's as simple as it can get, guys. See? I'll hold that up. Now you can see that detail a little bit more when I just glazed over that, the top texture of that mold with that dark brown. And so basically guys, there it is. Um, how to add molds to clay pots. And this is just a beginning. You can add molds to just about anything. Um, like I said, I'm using Redesign, uh, Redesign with Prima. And um, I'm just putting the hot glue in there and uh, Where's, oh, here it is. So going back to the one, I poured that hot glue into this one. It's already dry, so I'm just gonna pop it out. And there I have my, my leaf mold. That's all there is to it, guys. So you guys have a great day and thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Hit subscribe and you'll get to see all the new videos that come up. And uh, thank you so much. Have a good day, guys. Bye.